God is good and all the time. So on this Saturday after Ash Wednesday, the church reminds us of some very important landmarks we must undertake as we go through the season of Lent. The first is this. In as much as we are fasting, we are praying, having alms given, having various observances and abstinence during this season, we should not be hypocrites. You can't be a hypocrite. You may deceive man, I may deceive you, but I cannot under any condition deceive God. In the first reading from the prophet Isaiah, actually three to Isaiah, the book of restoration, that says the Lord, if you remove from your midst oppression, false accusation, and malicious speech, if you bestow your bread on the hungry and satisfy the afflicted, then light shall rise for you in the darkness, and the gloom shall become for you like midday. This is what the Lord expects us to do. In that case, then all the spiritual observances we are undertaking would help us improve. But you cannot say you are fasting the whole day. You are not taking meat. And you are still oppressing others. You have malicious speech. You have not made up your mind <laughs> to change in character. What are you doing? So, because as for fasting, <laughs> people go on diet. Oh, it's a fasting. They have all sorts of apps that will help you fast. Yes, to reduce your weight, you can do that. But if you are, the, the fast that Lent expects you to do, the Lenten observances you must undertake, you cannot go through those and still be practicing these. Or refusing to give help to the poor liberating the poor but rather burdening them then you are becoming a hypocrite cause 90 zero nothing is happening the second point is this when you look, read the gospel jesus goes to uh, you know the customs post and he meets levy and immediately he calls levy to follow me he says follow me and the text says, and leaving everything behind. That is serious. And leaving everything behind. He got up and followed him. When you read the Greek, kai katalipun panta. Kai katalipun panta. The English version is even mild. Leaving everything behind. It doesn't give the to abandon, you know, it's and abandoning everything behind. He left. You know, there is one <laughs> in English when you say you you have left something, I can leave my face towel here. If I leave this face towel here, I will surely do what? You come back for it. I say, Oh father, <laughs> you left your face towel, you bring it to me. That is not what that is not the kind of living here. The kind of living here, Katalipun, it's a kind of abandonment, a living that you never go back to. That is what Levi did. You leave, he left everything, he abandoned. So you can leave your car on the compound, and we take Uber home, but you come back for your car. This kind of living he did was a living that. You never come back. Why is this given to us today? On this Saturday after Ash Wednesday, Christ says, Follow me. You may be a Catholic, you may be in church, you may be a Christian, but 
you are not following Christ. I tell you, you are not following Christ. The earlier, myself included, we leave everything behind. And no, 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 we are not going to pick them back after Lent. No, no, then you are wasting your time. I mean, my main chance was, let me waste more. <laughs> I won't go to my side check for uh, seven weeks. No, <laughs> you must abandon, drop that yam, that, that, that advert will say. Drop, you must abandon. And it's not easy. But with God on our side, it is possible. May the name of the Lord be praised, both now and forever. Amen.